All right, I'm in my 2007 X3 uh, 3.0 SI, having a problem, not cranking or starting at all. Try that again. The problem uh, was that it intermittently did this, so maybe once a week, three times a week, or none a week. Um, so I was watching the guide, and it says that if you turn the key to the first position of the accessory on the ignition of the door, if it doesn't beep, something's wrong with the EWS, the ring antenna, or the key, but it's ringing. So I wanted to check the EWS. I have a Foxwell SD510 here. I wanted to check the key, if the key was getting red. So I am already in here. Oh, get back in. So now I'm gonna go to the control unit's drive. I'll check the DME in a second to show you. But I went to EWS. Live data. So this is to check the functioning of the key and the starter. So I'm gonna select all for the live data. I'm gonna view that data. Get closer. So right now star is enabled, yes. So if I turn off the key, pull out the key, it should go to no. Okay, it's not doing that. Oh, there you go. And then I'm going to put the key back in. Turn on to the ACC. It's yes. So, it's blocked. Star is not getting blocked. Key identification. This is a big one. Make sure the keys are working. So, key identification is ID'd. The password is random code is good and the key transmit yes disabled no interesting thing is it says onboard computer not active and status status the dme wire is blocked now i don't know if that is the um actual starter wire or not that's you said i think that the video said there was other than the normal two Positive and negative. There's also two on the side. On one side, uh, one on the other side that controls uh, that goes to the DMV and the uh, EWS. So maybe one of those. So the questioning thing, the interesting thing was when I went back to the DMV, DME. DME 2F4A not present the DME interface with the EWS immobilizer. That's really weird. And before when I read the error message from the EWS, it said no voltage, but I erased the code yesterday. See, system pass not found. No fault found, but I'll put up a graphic of it. And it was there. Uh, so, it was quite confusing. So, any help would be great. I'm going to check underneath. Check the wires. Um, the starter was actually starting up pretty strong. There's no struggling, no slow cranks. Um, the... Oh, let's go out there. The, uh... Ground wire, ground strap on the passenger side looks pretty decent.
ground strap does not look too green and corroded, but I haven't been exactly underneath yet. So I will double check that um, and check all the connections to the starter. Oh, here's the trickle charger, so it doesn't look too bad. All right, thanks for your help. I also want to mention that the key is working to lock and unlock. But no start, still. Just wanted to mention that.